Why do people hold inventory? Why do people buy and then hold on to inventory? I operate in a different way to a lot of people. I never ever hold any inventory. When I buy it, I basically flip it straight on. I don't wanna see it, I don't wanna hold it, I don't want anything to do with that inventory. I just want to buy it and flip it straight on. So let me let me give you some great examples why you shouldn't ever hold inventory. Okay, there's a lot of people in the business that holds inventory. They you know they have warehouses full of inventory. Uh, yeah, fair enough if you're like a big wholesaler or cash and carry. But if you're a if you're a trader or a broker. Um, you know, buying and selling surplus inventory. There's no really, there's no good reason why you should ever actually hold on to any inventory. You know, even some people that I teach, I've noticed that they're, you know, they're going out and looking for inventory and buying it, putting their money into it, and then, um, you know, they're sat on that inventory. So, you know, I'm going to give you some good reasons why you shouldn't ever hold inventory if you're a trader or a broker you don't need to hold in onto inventory okay not unless you're actually emotionally attached to that inventory and you've fallen in love with it and you just like looking at it and admiring it it's just pointless you don't want to be holding any inventory so here goes first reason you got your money tied up in in the stock basically so when you're buying stock then you're paying for it and your money is now sat in that inventory sat on pallets okay your money your hard-earned money is sat in that surplus inventory and why why do you want your money tied up in that inventory i'd rather have that money you know paying for something else that i can buy and move on okay i don't want it sat in inventory that's basically just sat there okay that, that that's not for me if you've bought inventory, here's another reason. If you bought inventory, okay, and you you bought and paid for it, and you're sat on that inventory, why haven't you, when you've bought it, why haven't you just f sold it straight on? Does that could mean you you've bought it at the wrong price, P possibly, okay, possibly you've bought it at the wrong price. If you're thinking, no, I haven't, I bought it at the right price. Well, why are you still sat on that inventory? Why have you bought? Why have you bought it, paid for it, and you're now sitting on that inventory in a warehouse. If you bought it at the right money, you, you would have sold that all straight on, straight away. Have you bought that at the right price or not? Uh, another reason is tying up warehousing space. So, okay, so maybe you, you've got inventory in a warehouse, but, you know, it's a warehouse full of other stock that you might have as well. Yeah, this might apply to a cash and carry or a wholesaler. Do you really want to be sat on inventory that is taking up valuable warehousing space? It's sat there doing nothing. You could be using that space for other inventory that you want to bring in. Another reason, um, if you're a broker or a trader, if you're actually buying and putting money into inventory and bringing it into a warehouse, you're now taking on storage costs. Why? Why do you need storage costs every month? That's crazy. That's a silly outgoing or expense each month. No, you don't want to be sat on inventory and paying monthly storage costs. That's just crazy. That's like paying rent. You know, that's like paying rent every month on something. Unnecessary. Okay, it's unnecessary. You don't need a storage cost each month. Okay, um, another reason: the stock that you buy, if you're while you're actually sat on that inventory, you know there's a good chance that stock is depreciating. What's depreciating mean? It means it's going down in value. Okay, if you're buying clearance stock. It's never ever going to go up in value, is it? It's only ever going to go down in value. So the longer you're sat on that inventory, the more chance it's going to go down in value. Extra transport costs. So when you're buying inventory and you, you're paying for it and then you're bringing it into a storage, you might have already actually paid for transport costs to bring that into a storage. Good chances you probably have. Um, so when you eventually actually sell that inventory, 
you're now going to be paying for another lot of transport costs to deliver it to the buyer or your customer okay so in effect you've actually paid two lots of transport costs you paid one lot when you bought the stock to bring into a warehouse you and then when you resell that stock you're now paying for transport costs again to re to re-deliver it to your customer pointless that's just silly okay here's another one it, yeah I mean this one is pretty obvious the hassle of thinking and knowing in your mind that you've got some stock that you're sat on that you haven't currently sold okay so each day you're waking up thinking I've got that stock in in the warehouse I haven't sold I haven't sold it yet and you, you know it starts becoming a hassle to you why why am I still sat on that stock you know I, ha I haven't I don't want to be thinking about stock that I'm sat on I want to be thinking about other stuff uh, you know new deals that I get offered so it's a hassle just having that on your mind each day does that make sense so again is it the right stock have you bought the right stock if you haven't sold if you haven't bought and sold that straight on why why haven't you bought that stock and sold it straight on is it because it's the wrong it's, it's the wrong stock it's the wrong price you know you can't find customers for it um, you know there are three good reasons why a lot of people end up sitting on stock that they've bought they can't find a customer for it main reason you can't find a customer for it is because it's the wrong you're selling it at the wrong price and or it's just the wrong type of stock you know no one's interested in that product or that type of stock no you think you you thought at the time that it was great stock at a great price but what you thought was possibly very wrong so you might have bought it at the wrong price and it might be just be the wrong type of stock that you bought that no one's interested in okay so that's what you got to think about when you're buying stock if you're thinking of putting your money into that stock and having your money tied up in that stock have you bought the right stock you know is it the type of stock that you can find a buyer for have you bought it at the right price you know have you done your research what you think you might have bought it you might think you've actually pinched that stock you might you might think you've pinched that stock when it comes down to it you actually might have thought you pinched that stock but you've actually not you've actually paid too much for that stock okay that's inexperience guys that's inexperience okay even guys with experience can end up buying stock they've bought at the wrong price it happens in our game you know we all get our fingers burnt uh, well I don't because I don't sit on inventory okay um, here's another good reason you you like the idea of buying and selling you like the idea of buying and selling stock it's a you know it sounds great I buy and I sell and I buy and I sell well if you do that why are you actually sat on stock that you've just bought and why haven't you why haven't you sold that on okay you know I understand some people might bring stock in and you know within a few days they've sold it great okay I like to buy it and move it straight on okay without even holding it or seeing it um, that's how I operate with all my deals so you know when I've done a deal with my supplier I will flip that straight on to a buyer okay I will never ever ever bring that into a warehouse and sit there admiring it thinking oh I love look at that lovely stock I've bought that looks beautiful what a deal I've bought yeah it's such a good deal that you're sat there looking at it with your hard-earned money tied up in that stock why don't you just flip that straight on and made your profit if it's such a great great deal okay so guys that is what I'm talking about and what I teach in my coaching program and if you're thinking or if you thought through this presentation yeah actually Matt, Matt's come out with some good points here and you know if you're thinking yeah I'd like to learn I'd like to know more about how Matt you know does this and and what Matt teaches then click the link below and you can see more information on my coaching program on how to buy and flip 
surplus inventory like a pro. Uh, the way I teach is to buy and sell inventory without ever holding any inventory, okay, without ever seeing any inventory. And that's what I teach. And you know, there's a lot of great methods of doing this. So yeah, if you want to get into my coaching program, click on the link below and become one of my students where I, I will actually take you by the hand and show you every single method step by step that I use myself every single day in my business. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again very, very soon. Enjoy the rest of the week. Peace.